So after taking a look at the Scorpion Evo HPA collab with Wolverine, we grabbed Bob to show us one of their newest releases coming out summer of this year. We're looking at this year, this year, definitely this year. Last year, we it was an early stage prototype. We never actually promised a release date, even though some people are accusing us of overpromising. We never promised a release date, but this year, this year, this year. So this is the CZ Bren 805. Uh, not only does it look really cool, but it's a it's an excellent platform as well mm -hmm. because of the the changeable magwell. Exactly. Similar to the way you've seen a changeable magwell on a G36. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So show us some of the features of the 805. All right. So kind of uh, starting from uh, front to back, I guess. So first of all, you'll notice if you if pick one of these up, you'll feel that it's a really really solid, durable uh, upper receiver, and it's because. It's actually a CNC machine aluminum receiver uh, with a black finish on it. So, you know, it's gonna give it that strength, but it's still relatively lightweight considering how it's such a big chunk of metal with like the monolithic upper rail and just a entire single piece. Uh, moving backwards, like Matt said, it's got this modularity built in with a magazine. So, right now we have on it the Bren Magwell and the Bren Magazine. The US version will be released with an AR Magwell and a Stanag Mag, so that way, you know, we know the US market loves their Stanag magazines. So you guys will be happy out of the box. You can use the magazines you already have. For the people who actually want the Bren magazine as a Magwell, we'll have that available as a separate item for the reenactors or the guys who want that authenticity. Oh, great, okay, cool. Yep. Yep. So three position fire selector, uh, we have safe, semi, and full auto. I know last year we kind of discussed whether or not we wanted to give it Evo internals and this one is one of those guns that we think, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, to keep it more affordable, we're going to make it a standard AEG, granted a high quality standard AEG, and then we'll save the nice internals for a future project. So for those curious uh, about the, the, the shape or design of the gearbox, mm -hmm. this uses a pretty standardized gearbox shell, mm -hmm. but with some miter adaptations? E exactly, exactly. So the shell itself is going to be a version 3 shell with a cutout in the back for a quick detach uh, or a quick uh, swap spring system. And certain components in there will be unique to the brand, such as the air nozzle. I know, I know at least the air nozzle is longer to accommodate for the receiver design. Um, there, there'll be a few other proprietary parts too, but you know we'll offer those parts available separately. But for the most parts that you want to replace, like the piston, the, the piston head, and you know, all the gears, those you'll be able to swap in with your standard V2, V3 parts, not a problem. Great. Uh, now, in the back here, we've got a pretty interesting stock design. Yes, it's a very uh, very modular, well not modular, I would say very customizable stock. So first of all, you have a cheek piece that, uh, that actually can adjust depending on where you would like to rest your uh, cheek on the gun for a better cheek weld. And then you have it, uh, it can fold, and then once it folds, you can see it actually locks in very tightly. It's on a spring-loaded system, so it's not going to come undone unless you give it a good amount of force. And then it has a four position uh, collapsible feature. So that way, you know, depending on your length of pull, you're, you can customize it to your own needs. So this is, uh, you know, basically for a Proline gun, we're giving it Proline features that make it worth uh, what, what the cost would be. Now, for a gun like this, uh, th that's very minimalist in terms of the amount of extra space that it has. Mm -hmm. um, fitting a battery can sometimes be difficult, but you guys have really tackled that in a very innovative way mm -hmm. by making the adjustable stock removable with a, a gearbox spacer unit, the same way that you would access the quick change spring guide in the back of the gearbox, mm -hmm. is also the same compartment where the battery is stored just along the, uh, the upper section above the gearbox itself. So a very compact package for being uh, such an impressive size, well designed, it's got a good weight and the quality of the materials involved are, mm -hmm. are very, very exciting. So, Absolutely. like you said, you, we can look forward to seeing this around the summer. It's, externally, at least, it's in a very close to production status. Internally, we're just finalizing a few, uh, a few more things, but expect to see this definitely on the market, hopefully by summer, but you know, don't hold me to it, obviously. With, with production, it's, it's always, there's always going to be something that comes out of left field that makes it a little difficult. I mean, I know this is currently a prototype, but based purely off of what we're seeing here, I may just have to switch my primary to a CZ805. It would be a good choice, and it also comes in tan. Oh, both colors. Both colors, and in a different barrel length as well. This is a long length, we'll be introducing a short length uh, too, so for four, four different models at launch. Awesome. Well, stay tuned to our channel and ASG's social media to Facebook, find out more Instagram. information about uh, their upcoming release of the 805.
ASG makes some awesome gas blowback pistols. The PO9 is an excellent example of those. And they're expanding their CZ line of gas blowback pistols with this bad boy right here. This is a CZ75 SP01 Shadow. So tell us uh, a little bit more about the Shadow, what makes it different uh, maybe from your existing okay. uh, models and, and why this might be advantageous for somebody looking for a gas blowback pistol. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, absolutely. So the Shadow, the uh, you know, the, the heritage of the Shadow is actually comes from IPSC. This is pretty much the preferred uh, pistol for IPSC shooters worldwide. I know in Europe, it, like this is the number one selling pistol and the pistol most represented in any kind of a speed shooting, target shooting competition. And in the US, it's slowly starting to become the standard as well. And we've received so many requests for this. So this year we decided, let's make one. And if you guys are familiar with our PO9, which came out, uh, the first version came out about a year and a half ago, you know, we've taken all the great internals, the short reset trigger, the really light trigger pull, the, uh, the horizontal hop up, that gives it a great consistency and range. All those features, we've dropped it into the shadow. And what you have basically is a gun that's the PO9 internally, but now with a metal frame for those aficionados who really like that heavier weight and want something, you know, more solid. Right. So with the shadow, as you can see on it, it comes with these really nice ergonomic rubberized grips with little thumb shelving. That are extremely comfortable, yeah. I might add. Very, very rubberized, very rubbery and comfy, yep. And um, basically, we all everything on this gun has been tailored for competition shooting. You have the comfy grip. If you notice, the, the uh, magazine release has actually been ext extended, so right. that way you know you have the quicker mag changes. The safety has a little ledge added to it, so basically, As a thumb rest. exactly. So when you're when you're squaring up on it, you actually have a place to rest your thumb. It's got actually a uh, a nicer uh, hammer that uh, is, uh, is 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 uh, checkered for for a better grip. And you got a nice high beaver tail, so you're not going to get any uh, any slide bite. And uh, but otherwise, you know. We've made it so that it still appeals to the people who want more of a tactical pistol. Right. You still have the rails, so if you want to get all the lights uh, and attached to it. And this pistol, dimensionally, it actually fits into the PO9 holster that we offer. So if you have a PO9 and you want to get one of these, you can, you know, you don't need to upgrade the holster. Right, and that also means that it's going to be compatible with existing Kydex or hard shell holsters uh, that are already available. Yes, so you don't yes. have to get one specific to this it, if you want to run multiple platforms like the PO9 mm -hmm. and SPO1 together. It should, it should. Hope, hopefully it should. At least for ours, it's been tested to be. So we'll see. Okay. We'll see. But uh, otherwise, you know, you get the, uh, the fiber optic front sight, which when you bring up your gun, you get an excellent sight picture. You know, that, that bright green uh, dot is right there for a, uh, for a very clear view. And uh, as I said, internally, it's very similar to the PO9. So on release, it's going to come with a uh, green gas magazine. But CO2 magazines are going to be available separately. And what's nice is because this gun is based on the same dimensions as our CZ75, if you already own a CZ75 from us, you're actually able to use CZ75 magazines in it. So you don't necessarily need to purchase extra magazines. The SP01 magazines will be unique in the fact that they have bumpers, Okay. Uh, whereas the CZ75 magazines are flush. So it just depends on what you prefer, but you know, magazines will be available for these, whether you shoot green gas or CO2. And, and magazine capacity? Magazine capacity, you're going to be looking at about 25 plus one. And with green gas, you're going to be doing about uh, 330. With CO2, you're going to be doing about 370-ish in, in kind of like 70 degrees, 75 degree weather. Awesome. And uh, time of release? Time of release, this is actually, we're expecting these uh, within about two weeks in the US. So oh, wow. By the time this video is uploaded, they might be already shipping out to ASG authorized retailers like Evic. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you guys are looking for a new gas blowback pistol, you definitely got to check out the CZ75 SP01 Shadow, brought to us by ASG and available soon at evic.com. At evic.com.